break either, huh? And no, not for the next couple of days. Now, early next week, we may see some slight relief, but we're still talking temperatures in the 90s. Just maybe a break from some of those triple digits. Sitting at 106 today feels more like 1010 or 110 with a four mile per hour wind out of our Sherman Chevrolet Cadillac Tower Cam. High temperatures ranging from 102 generally with 106. We have topped out at 108, though, unofficially in Sherman and Denison. And some storms on radar, mainly across Pushmataha County near snow and then these are back building west moving towards McGee Creek Reservoir and staying just to the south of Daisy there in Atoka County. Some lightning with those those not severe at this time, but we'll hold on to a 20% chance for a few of these pop up storms through about 8 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures falling into the mid 90s by 9 o'clock with a south wind 5 to 15. Data showing this activity mainly staying in eastern Oklahoma for tonight, but then we move into Friday and again Again, looking at more pop up style thunderstorms possible both for the afternoon and evening. So anyone who does see rain tomorrow will have a brief cool down before temperatures warm up again. But we are expecting widespread triple digits tomorrow. Can't rule out stuff through about nine o'clock for tomorrow evening, sitting at about a 20% chance for storms again heading into tomorrow. 77 degrees headed out the door. Warm start that bus stop forecast sponsored by Signature Home Furniture. We're going to be around 105 by the afternoon. That would be a record high temperature. Temperature. The old record of 102 was set back in 1980, and this would also be the hottest game ever we've seen for Battle of the Axe. Temperatures are expected to stay in the triple digits through 7 o'clock. Kickoff there at 8 o'clock, timed also with sunset. We'll also come with cooler temperatures. We'll be in the low 90s by 11 o'clock. More triple digits through the weekend. Cold front, though, arrives Saturday into Sunday. That's when we start to see those temperatures stair step down and rain chances moving in with this front. Some of those chances overnight Saturday into Sunday with more chances ahead going into next week with some of this light rain potential. Anywhere from about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain could be possible. Data today coming back in a little higher. Don't think we'll get an inch out of this, but continuing to watch those rainfall totals at least staying consistent, which is good news. That latest drought monitor out today. We saw an expansion in that. No real surprise since we haven't seen any rain. Here's a look at that seven day forecast sponsored by Etter Family Dealerships. That last sunset at eight o'clock is Sunday. Guys.